Rebecca Lang. I'm a cookbook author, I'm a ninth generation Southerner, and I'm a contributing editor to Southern Living Magazine. I'm so excited to have you in my home today. We're in the framing stages and we're gonna build a beautiful kitchen. I've got my friend here with me, Tyler Davis, who's also my contractor. So let me tell you a little bit about what happened with our project. Tyler knows this. We bought a house that was built in 1968 and we had the best of intentions to renovate it, but after learning that we had some foundation trouble, we decided to go ahead and start completely from scratch, and we're making the kitchen of my dreams. Okay, so here's my wish list. I hope your hand doesn't wear out on this, because it's gonna be a long one. Right. So, in my kitchen, I like everything to be open. I need a really big island. I need lots of prep space, as you can imagine. I'm not the cleanest cook in the world. And if possible, I really would like to do two dishwashers. Do you think you can do that? I'd love to. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. I also wanna do a sink that is enormous in between those two dishwashers. And then in my sink that is as big as a bathtub, I wanna have the quietest disposal, so I've already picked that out. I'm gonna do an in sinkerator Evolution Series. Great. Which is so quiet, you barely know it's even on. As you can imagine, I've got a lot of stuff that I'm grinding up constantly with all my recipe testing and cooking. It can take anything I can put in it, which is awesome. I really want a lot of natural light. I need windows in the kitchen that lead straight out to the front yard because you know the kids are gonna be out there playing at the same time. Keep an eye on them as they head down to the river. Yeah, which is a good, <laughs> good parenting skills, huh? <laughs> and then I really want it to be the opposite of today with our construction noise, I want it to be quiet. So I need a hood that is quiet. I want the ventilation coming up and out, but I don't wanna have to hear it. I really want to do a beverage area. A nice wet bar away from the, the yes, area. Yes, a wet bar away from everything else. And so I want to have my wine cooler, my ice maker, and I want to have an Insincorator instant hot water dispenser. Thanks to Insincorator, I can make sweet tea in a moment's notice, which is like every Southerner's dream. And then the last thing, which you probably have never heard before, I want to do a biscuit counter, but I need the counter to be a little bit lower. Okay. I feel like I don't have enough leverage on a regular countertop to really roll and get in that biscuit bag make friends with the dough. So what's a good measurement for us to think about? Normal height for you know, kitchen counters about 36 inches. Okay. So if we went you know, two or three inches below that, uh, 33 or 34 inches for your finished top. That'd be perfect. And if possible, I'd like to do some kind of pretty marble because marble stays really, really cold. And the better biscuits are made with cold butter. So I need cold butter, a low counter, and some pretty marble. I like that. I'm coming over for that in the evening. Yeah, come for biscuits and fried chicken. Y'all make sure to tune into the next episode and follow along with my kitchen. We'll see you there.